Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Niche, where in the previous episode we met the eighth member of our tribe or pack or herd or whatever we are, and I forgot to mention the name. The name is Tavanku, and you can see that they uh, they take after uh, Vankir quite a lot, nearly the same colour of uh, fur on the top there, and also the same standard uh, fur colouring as most of our tribe have. But I've noticed something really interesting about the, the first situation with all these animals, because as you've seen, most of the creatures have the same fur colour. All five of these guys here do. The only exceptions are uh, Rokir, the father of uh, most of the, the herd, uh, and uh, uh, Rana, the one that came in from outside, and then Roku, the child of uh, Rokir and Rana. And the thing about this is that this is, like, the colour that these have, this is not one gene determining this, it is a pair of genes mixing together in a certain way that makes this colour be expressed. And the fact that it has been expressed, like, every single time, basically, is quite weird. So let's have a look. So, Larry is the original one, she is the first one to have this particular fur colouring. That's the thing, originally, we had three different colourings at the top of the tree. Uh, but yes, Larry has moss brown and red brown fur and these mix to make this fur i'm pretty sure that's how it works because um well rakir looks like he's expressing moss brown fur and just carrying black fur but you can see that it shows them both lit up and i think that means that they mix and uh it makes sense because this one has black fur at the top and then red brown fur i mean unless there's a thing about like the uh like priority perhaps it could be that red brown takes precedence No, because this is red brown. That's what red brown looks like. So then this is moss brown. So is that what moss brown looks like? But the, the thing that I've realized is that every single creature we have, apart from Rokir, Rana, and Roku, have the same pair of genes. Sometimes backwards from each other, but it's always the same pair. And I think they are mixing every time to make this particular sort of orange color. Which is crazy, and then Roku has picked up two black fur jeans, and that's why they are jet black. And I maybe it's a priority thing, but it, it, I think it might be a a mixing thing, which is quite crazy. I'm not 100 percent sure. We'll have to keep experimenting. But like the fact that no one yet has ended up not having this mix of two when given the opportunity. I mean, it, it even happened one time with Rana and Rakir, and then there was this one time where. It, uh, Roku ended up with both the black ones. So that's something I spotted in between episodes that I thought was quite neat, that everyone keeps getting the same pair. And so my initial thoughts was that that meant that the mix made them all the same one, but actually it could just be that one's taking priority, but that, yeah, we need, we must experiment more. Everyone keeps ending up with the same pair, we need, uh, we need someone to be born that doesn't have the pair, so we can actually work out how the system works in the first place. Anyway, so yes, we've had the new creature arrive, this is, uh, Tavanku. Tavanku's decent at fishing. Uh, was it fishing and stealth? Was that the good mix we were hoping for? Uh, yes, it was the velvet part and the claw. That was what I was hoping for because that means that they're good at stalking and killing, which I think is a nice uh, mix. Uh, what was the other thing? I spotted something there. Yeah, there's this thing here. Uh, it's, it's the baby animal trait, which is just uh, what they'll all, of course, have. Something I've not mentioned so far because it's not needed to come up yet is there is this little thing along the side here that all the creatures have. This is the animal rank. Um, I think it goes Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Omega. Maybe there's Delta as well, but I think there's just the four of them. And the way it works is it rank, like, the higher your rank, uh, the more like, like, uh, the higher uh, priority we will be given for feeding. So if we ever run low on food and we actually don't have enough to feed everyone uh, overnight, then it will feed the Alphas, then the Betas, then the Gammas, then the Omegas. And uh, I've not set that so far for anybody because it's not mattered because we've always had plenty of food but it is something that we should consider and uh, it will require a bit of favoritism we will have to pick which animals don't get to uh to survive if we end up in a in a famine situation i think uh, that i was looking at like there's certain ones that have ended up with a, a bad mix of genes was relame one of them because you've ended up with blindness and short-sightedness you have horns though and you're carrying spiky body so it's it, there's definitely a mix. I don't there's no one yet who's come up that I think is like really terrible that should be put on the the omega list. No one's come up who like has ended up with a, a terrible mix of genes. But it's only a matter of time because someone's gonna be born with blindness and we're gonna have to deal with that. 
Anyway, let's get on with uh, today's business. What shall we be doing? I think Larry and Rakir, they're basically finished in terms of their uh, their breeding days. I mean, maybe Larry could do more. We don't Rakir to breed with anyone because everyone has Rakir's uh, immunities now. So if he breeds with anyone here, then we'll end up with a bad mix that we don't like. However, oh, even the case with Tavanku as well. Um, and actually, they're both male. I forgot about that. Gotta remember the, the genders, that's important. Sorry, the sexes. I did mix that up before. There is, of course, a difference. I've just, like, as a child, I used to saying gender to refer to sex, which is now awkward. And I must unlearn that and uh, say it properly. Uh, but yeah, Rook here, I think he can just go off and gather food, go exploring, see if he can find more people to join the tribe. We've not seen any other creatures for quite a while. Nothing but moles and rabbits, but... As we saw with uh, with Rana, there are other um, creatures out there that we could bring into the tribe, and there are also predators out there that might want to to uh, to get us killed. And at some point, we'll we'll have to encounter some of them. But yeah, Larry, immunities are A and B, so there's not many people you can breed with where it doesn't go wrong. Relame is also female, so that doesn't work. Tavanku, yeah, no, Larry has no options apart from Rakir that she can breed with to actually uh, not have a dangerous immunity situation still might be worth it because Larry is the one creature we have that doesn't have blindness. They, she still has short-sightedness, but at least she doesn't have blindness. Lesser of two evils. So I am I'm considering breeding Larry and Roku, but there's a danger they could both end up with immunity A and also Roku has haemophilia and all that bad stuff but i would like to i'd like to pass on the black fur really i do quite like it so maybe we'll go for that also does have horns good thing to add into it chance we can end up with someone who's got entirely ram horn genes we can have a bit of sort of stability with that situation yeah i think i will try that next and i'll be honest a, a significant part of it is so that we have symmetry in the family tree <laughs> Oh, terrible reasons, but uh, just good enough that I'll I'll give it a shot. Anyway, uh, Rook here is up here. We know he's not going to be needed near the nest again. You can carry on doing some fishing. Two more fish, two more fish, and one more fish. And maybe that was overfishing and not a good idea, but I'm not sure how it works, so I just decided to harvest the whole lot. And that's five food just from him. Even if he's not contributing to the, the genes of the, the family anymore, he's most definitely helping to keep us alive. Ooh, I spot another tree over here. That's the thing. That'd be a nice uh, permanent source of, of nuts. We can have someone like uh, Rana just constantly patrolling the tree, cracking more nuts. The only reason Rana's not been doing that recently is because she's had uh, breeding to do. But I think that's it for her, really. We'll have a look at, at her genes as well. She's got A and F. We still want to get F into the gene pool if we can. More so than it is. Only Ralame has carried it so far. We want that to be a little bit more sort of concrete set in the... Uh, in the family if we can so who's good for that you've got a and f so aha vankir has b and c and oh, we've already done that once haven't we so we could do that again give it another shot we still want to try and pass on some of rana's interesting things that nobody else has and uh probability is just laughing at us in in the face and refusing to let us have the big ears or the swimming tail or any other stuff but it's happily giving us the albinism and the blind eyes and all that rubbish and the haemophilia, of course. Been fairly unlucky in terms of Rana, but we'll try it. Yeah, one more time with Rana and Vankir. And then that'll probably be it for Rana, because... Vankir is the only one that she can breed with that doesn't cause immunity issues. That and Rakir, but we're we're done with Rakir, I think. So yeah, uh, Rana, you can... Well, you don't have to stay in the nest right now. You can hop out over this way and gather some nuts from around the other side of the tree. Might as well. Vankir, you can hang around close so that you're ready. Can we hear or smell anything dangerous around? Nope, no signs. Been a very nice time for us so far. No threats at all. Fortunately, nothing for Vankir to, to swim around and catch. Perhaps if you wander over here. Aha! Fish! Go, go, go! Harvest them to pieces. Oh, they, they swam away. They're not completely dumb. Wonder off this way. Ah, there's more fish over there for perhaps the next turn. Though you will need to be getting back over here so that you can uh, you can breed with Rana. Meanwhile, Coriana, what are you good at? You're good at 
digging and stealth and collecting. I mean, there's a berry bush nearby. You've only got one collecting, though. We want two, really, if we want to be making good use of the berry bushes. What do we have to hunt? Let's try hunting this rabbit over here. Hop this way. Didn't spot you. Kill it. Didn't kill it in one go. Try it again. Why is it called a rabbil? It says rabbil. Is that... Maybe that's... I'm going to assume that that's deliberate, that they're all given weird names. Like, that's a rabbil and these are... I can't see. If I have an action pertaining to one of these mole things, I can find out what it is, but otherwise I'm not allowed. Uh, Relame, you're good at... You're good at stealth and attacking, aren't you? Are you? No, you're good at digging and stealth. Damn it, again? Not a good mix. I think this mole has emerged, so perhaps we can sneak up on it. Maybe it's a bit wasteful to have Relame do it. Yeah, it is wasteful to have Relame do it. Let's have someone else who's better at it. Then again, Larry's got this one over here as well. So we'll give this one a shot. Didn't spot us. Attack. Didn't kill it, but we get a second attack. And I thought that was... Was that called a stag mole? They do have antlers, so I guess, yeah, this, they're some weird mix of creatures called the stag mole. Fair enough. Raku, you're good at collecting, so if there's any berries left on this thing, there was one, you've harvested it, well done, Raku. You can wander off this way and explore a bit. At some point we should perhaps cross over this river and explore this way. But it's a nice boundary to our lands that keeps us safe, really, so I don't know if I really want to be crossing that, putting people in danger. Gives us a boundary so that we can just explore it in this direction. We can have a nice, safe front line. Any predators come for us, they will have to go through plenty of our own creatures before they reach the nest. Speaking of the nest, I've just realised it looks to be broken. Also, let's go back to sight. Yeah, that's looking like it's a bit off colour. So that's annoying. Can you fix it, Relame? Yes, you can. Spend three food on that, or three nest material even. Spend a turn to harvest some berries. And that is everyone tired out after a, a day of work harvesting food. We have got so much food, doing very well in that respect. Let's have the day take over. And uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, Rana and Vankir. Tavanku. You can wander off this way, I guess. And the rain has fallen, which has uh, replenished our berry bushes, so uh, Relame, you can just go crazy harvesting these to death. And, ah! Roku is uh, now an adult. Unfortunately, I've just taken you away from that berry bush, and uh, Rokir is not good at that. Rokir can gather some alga. There we go, we can now make a nest from scratch if we feel like doing that for some reason. There are some more grass. Roku, you can get back to uh, the berry bush and do some harvesting. There we go. Meanwhile, Larry has some food to harvest. And then let's have a smell and a hear. Nothing around. Nothing even to hunt. Nothing for Larry to do. Ah, well, you can clear some grass perhaps. There's a bit more of that around growing. Let's hop back over this way. Return to the nest to spend your final days, perhaps? A bit grim. Uh, then we've got Coriana. You can harvest all this meat that you've just... Uh... I'm trying to think of the word there. Generated is, is not really the term. Meat that you have made by turning something else into it, an alive thing, specifically. Hard to think of the right terms for this. Uh, Coriana can wander off this way, and oh, that guy hid. He, did he spot you from that distance? Maybe you spotted uh, Larry being right next to him. Clear out some more grass. Go back to sight, because I keep forgetting about that. Right, you try harvesting this, then hop back to the nest. Uh, Vankir, as much as I'd like you to go out hunting for fish, I don't see any anyway, so you can go visit the nest. And you, and then, well, Rana can attempt to mate. And it failed. That's the thing with having low fertility causes all sorts of issues, so... We can get a second attempt, thanks to Vankir's spare actions. And that's all good. 
Then Vankir can, I guess, wander off again. Go look for more fish. Is that everybody done? That is. So we'll tick over the day once again. I think I do spend some time like planning out what I'm going to be doing next, but then I, I try and catch up and, and get a bit of speed going. And this particular creature has an interesting color. Is that the same color as Rakir? I think it is. Taking after is... Oh, uh-oh. Oh dear. Those definitely look like blind eyes to me. Ruddukduk -duck is his name. And what has he inherited? F and B, so we've managed to get uh, immunity F into the mix. Fertility is good, normal blood clotting. This is all nice. Black fur and moss brown fur, so matching up there with Rokir. So is that the case that you're expressing moss brown fur, or are you expressing a mix of the two? I still don't know. We must find out. I want to understand how this works. Uh, no albinism. Didn't get the swimming tail. Two velvet paws, so uh, you're stealthy as anything. It's just a shame you can't see what you're chasing. Medium body, carrying spiky body. Short snout, didn't get the, the, the big nose, didn't get the derp snout. Like, Ran has now had four children, and the odds are two of them should have had the derp snout, but not a single one has. They've all inherited the short snout. Unfortunately, uh, no one's inherited the big nose. Off. Uh, actually, does Vankir even have it? Yeah, Vankir does have it. No one's inheriting the big nose. I want that to be the dominant thing. I want to try and breed out the short snout if I can. And then here we are. Blind eyes. Both genes. Roduckduck cannot see. At least they have good smelling and hearing. No horns whatsoever. Carrying big ears. Okay, so this is an unfortunate turn of events. We knew that this was going to happen. We knew someone was going to end up with blind eyes. But the annoying thing is that they've got a bunch of other good stuff. They've got the big ears. And they've got the immunity F. And they've got the black fur, which I also quite like. But that we shouldn't prioritize that. They've got the spiky body. I mean, that was always going to be a thing. But yeah, it's like, I really want to be able to pass on the big ears and immunity F. But I really don't want to be breeding Reduct Duck with, with the rest of the tribe because he's got two blind eyes and it's just a recipe for disaster. If I breed him with anyone we have right now, apart from Larry, who's going to be dead, I think, by the time he's an adult, then they will be blind, I think. No, they won't. It's not necessarily the case, is it? No, because, yeah, they could end up picking up the, the short-sightedness. Oh, okay, everyone's... It's even worse than I thought. I didn't realize how bad short-sightedness was prevalent as well. Who actually has functioning eyes. We have Tavanku. We have Vankir. We have Roku. We have Rakir. We have Larry. That's it. In terms of females, we're doing terribly because they all have short-sightedness and are carrying blind eyes. It's the, the dice have just rolled unfavorably and it's just getting worse and worse as time goes on. This is the, the blind generation, and it may only get worse from here. I'm going to have to work out how the mutations menu works so I can start using that to try and introduce some normal functioning eyes, because I think that's how it works. I think you just put that in and then they, like it just starts to be expressed randomly around the, the, the tribe as the generations pass. I don't really know. But yeah, we need something like that to, to save us from this impending disaster. Alright, well, I guess, Redunk Duck, you can... I mean, what can you do? I mean, like, actually, smelling and hearing are better for hunting, really, so perhaps that's just what you can do. You can go out there and hunt things, and you'll be able to hear and smell them, and that's all you need to, to hunt the, the rabbits and the, the moles. Let's just hope there's someone else around to spot anything else that might try creeping up on you otherwise, and perhaps we'll try breeding you, but I, I don't... Damn it! Why did you have to be the one? The one? Because it's not even... Yeah, not even Ralame has that. Only you have carried the big ears. I mean, Rana still has time, so maybe she can carry on breeding some more, but... Yeah, maybe breed with Vankir again? 
see if we can get better odds this time. Because at least Vankir has normal eyes. Yeah, I think if any, I think Reduk Duk will have to get a mega status if we end up in a in a food situation, like a starvation thing, because we can't allow the blind eyes thing to keep getting worse. All right, what we're we doing? We, we want to decide what our next particular matchup will be. Ryan is still pretty young, so that's all fine. That's the thing. I think even like Coriana's Rana is. Uh, the oldest, not counting Larry and, and Rakir. But she's still in the first half of her adulthood, so that's fine. Eleven days left of her, her lifetime. Plenty can be done in that time. So perhaps one more time with, with Ran and Vankir, and maybe this time it won't go so badly. I just want to pass on the big ears and the, the immunity F without also passing on blindness. Right, what shall everyone do today? Let's have a look around. Anything up like trying to sneak up and kill us. Nope, all good there. Alright, what can Coriana be getting on with? Where's that berry bush? There's one around here, I, I thought. I'm not seeing it anymore. It's, it's just over there. Nothing for you to try hunting at the moment. It's all just run off, apparently. Only thing to hunt at all is this mole over here. And there's one hidden there, but that's no good. So perhaps we should send Larry to try that. Is there anything else for Larry to do? Yep, hop over this way. Then hop over this way. Ah, it spotted us. Ah, well. Maybe next time for now. I don't know what to do. Wander off further. Oh, there's a berry bush. Very nice. You can start collecting like crazy from that next turn. Meanwhile, Rakir has some fishing to do. Hop over this way. Harvest a couple. And a couple more. Uh, Roku has plenty of fruit to collect. I said plenty, but I was apparently massively wrong. There was two. Let's clear out some more green, perhaps. I'm going to bring you this direction. I think you might want to be breeding with somebody soon. I like the black fur. I want to pass that on. That's the main thing, really. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so we didn't even do anything with Corian. I got distracted. Clear out some more greenery. Up over this way. Clear out this. That's your turn done. Uh, Tavanku. I keep forgetting what you do. You're new, so I... It's, it takes a while to learn everyone's particular things. Yes, you're the hunter! Well, you need to get right out here then. I mean, you're not quite old enough to really be hunting yet, but you should be ready for when the time comes. Ready and in position. To, uh, to start giving us plenty of rabbits. And Rolame can sit here and harvest fruit. One at a time. Meanwhile, Rana, you can... Again, your sight's terrible, so you can't see where to go. I guess just shake the tree where you are and harvest what comes out. One berry. We'll try that again. Not one berry, one nut even. Uh, Vankir, clear out that grass so we can see a bit better. Ah, and there's some algae to collect over there. Uh, not much else you can do. You could wander down this way and try some fishing, but I want you to be around for next turn. So... Uh, just try digging. Failed, but worth a shot. That everybody done? Yes, it is. It was actually, I forget, I think you press tab and it takes you to the next uh, creature that has any work left, if any of them do. And otherwise, pressing it does nothing. We're at 40 food! This is crazy! We can expand the tribe so much, and then one day it's all going to come crashing down, because we'll have over-expanded and started burning through our, our backlog. And, uh, yeah, so we should watch out for that, but I think we can have plenty more creatures before that happens. Even then, every new creature will be harvesting more food, so really, should be fine. We can just keep growing, which is nice. Uh, on to the next turn. Actually, it's... Uh, well, we'll go on to the next turn, just because I like... We'll end with everyone being nicely refreshed and ready for a new day. There we go, we can see uh, Reductuck, bit of a weird name, <laughs> looking at us, well, how does, wait, is it male or female, how does he know where the mouse is to track it? Many mysteries, can, can he hear the mouse, can he smell the mouse, does the mouse have smell, does it make noise? Many, many important questions to be asked, but uh, maybe another time, but yeah, so... 
next episode, we will try, we will try to ha actually have anyone born who doesn't have, who isn't at least carrying some sort of issue with their vision. Because I ju just one, I just want one. Just anybody. Any single creature. Everyone has it. They all have it. Why? I mean, I, I've said it before, but maybe it's not as bad as I make it out, because hearing and smell are perfectly good things themselves. In fact, let's have a look around. Oh, hello. There is a creature here, and I don't know what it is, and we will have to investigate that next episode. We can both smell and hear it. We can't smell and hear anything else, so yeah. Perhaps we can get it to join our tribe. It clearly has a derp snout, but uh, it might have other interesting traits that will be very useful to us. Uh, let's go back to site. Oh, I do, I do want to check. Let me look at the... Yeah, same mix as before, wasn't it, as Rook here. We'll work that out eventually. I, I want to understand how these colours work. Are they just, like... Is it crazy amounts of chance that half our tribe has this colour or not? Or is it just the way that the, uh, the dominant fur stuff works? Anyway, enough of that. Next episode, we'll meet whoever's hiding in amongst the, uh, the foliage over there, and perhaps they will join our tribe and uh, give us some much-needed... Maybe not blind DNA. But with that, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.